Hey guys, today we're going through chapter seven on trig identities and equations, and we're in section two right now, um, going over the sum and difference identities. So in problem number 21, it says, given that sine of A equals four fifths and the cosine of B equals one third, and A and B are angles in the interval from zero to pi over two radians, find the sine of A minus B, and find the cosine of A plus B. So there are two portions to this equation. We've got two things we're gonna find. First, we're going to go ahead and, sign, and find the sine of a minus b. So we're going to go over and look at our difference formula for sine, which is sine of alpha minus beta equals sine of alpha cosine beta minus cosine alpha sine of beta. So we know that that's the formula that we're going to be using. Now what we want to do is draw reference angles in the form of triangles uh, for our sine of a and our cosine of b. So we'll go ahead and draw those triangles. And we'll call them angle A and angle B. And we know that the sine of A, when we know our SOHCAHTOA, our sine of A is our opposite over our hypotenuse. So if we go opposite A, we have a four, and our hypotenuse is going to be a 5 from SOHCAHTOA. And when we look at B, we've got cosine of B equals our adjacent over our hypotenuse. So we've got 1 over 3 here, 1 over 3. So now we can go ahead and complete our triangle. Um, here I'm going to skip the Pythagorean theorem because this is a, a traditional 3, 4, 5 triangle. And when we go and do our um, Pythagorean theorem here, we get that this side H, I'm going to call it H here. Actually, no, I'll call it Y. We'll get our Y here equals um, 3 squared minus 1 squared square rooted. So our Y there is going to equal to the square root of 9 minus 1, so the square root of 8, which is also equal to 2 root 2. Okay, so now we've got our completed triangles. So now what we have to do, we are looking for sine of A minus B, sine of A minus B equals our sine of A. So we've got our sine of A is going to be uh, opposite over our hypotenuse. So sine of A is going to be 4 fifths times our cosine of B, which is going to be um, let's see, our cosine of B is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, so times one-third. And then we're going to subtract from it our cosine of A. So we go back to up to A, and we're going to go with cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's three-fifths, times our sine of B. So we're going to go opposite over hypotenuse here. So that's going to be our two root two, our opposite over hypotenuse, over 3. And we, when we go ahead and simplify, we're going to get, um, let's see, we're going to get 4 fifteenths minus, um, let's see, 6 root 2 over 15. Cool. So that's our answer for that one. Okay, so continuing on, we're going to go and find our cosine of a plus b. So we get our cosine of a plus b. Now we're going to be using this formula right here. Our alpha plus beta corresponds with our a plus b. So cosine of a plus b, we're going to start with our cosine of a, which is, we have our cosine of a. So we get, take the cosine of a, it's going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we've got 3 fifths times our cosine of b, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, one third, and then we're going to subtract our sine of A, so we go opposite over hypotenuse, four fifths, times our sine of B, which is going to be our opposite, so root two over two, two root two, excuse me, over three. And with that one, we're going to get our three fifteenths minus six root two over 15. And if we simplify that even further, 
we will end up with, let's see, 1 minus 2 root 2 all over 5. And there's our answer. I hope you found this video really helpful. Uh, the concepts we covered in this video are true no matter what pre-calculus class you take. And the examples I cover are from this textbook right here. And remember, if you're a Baylor student currently enrolled, there is free tutoring on the first floor of Sidrich. You can create a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or drop in anytime during our business hours. Please visit our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring for more details. Sick and bears. Okay, so continuing on, we're going to go and find our cosine of A plus B. So we get our cosine of A plus B. Now we're going to be using this formula right here. Our alpha plus beta corresponds with our A plus B. So cosine of A plus B, we're going to start with our cosine of A, which is we have our cosine of A. So we take the cosine of A is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we've got three fifths times our cosine of B, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, one third. And then we're gonna subtract our sine of A, so we go opposite over hypotenuse, four fifths, times our sine of B, which is gonna be our opposite, so root two over two, two root two, excuse me, over three. And with that one, we're going to get our three fifteenths minus 6 root 2 over 15. And if we simplify that even further, we will end up with, let's see, 1 minus 2 root 2 all over 5. And there's our answer.